Good morning. This is Pensioner Pond Farm. Uh, I'm Mike. I am Magic Mike. And we're doing a quick little video for the solstice. The solstice is about upon us. I'm in a room now that we just got enclosed about maybe a month ago now. Um, it was part of our house that was undone for two years and it is enclosed and it's airtight and I've been monitoring the temperature, three different layers of temperature for um, two, two weeks, let's say, um, with a barrel. So there's, there's the outside, there's the inside of the greenhouse, and there's inside the barrel. And there's, this is filled with water. Actually, all these barrels are now filled with water. Um, and the purpose of those are to uh, absorb heat in the day and then release it at night. So you're, instead of having these crazy temperature swings, your temperature swings are like this, they're moderated. It's basically, they're governors. So I did a, uh, just last night, I did a full um, R value estimate. Uh, it's obviously unfinished, the roof, the ceiling doesn't have ceiling tiles on, only partly. So I calculated all the R values and the percentages and averaged, and then averaged out all the different sections. Considered that, you know, that's the delta T here is outside to inside the greenhouse. The delta T here is in the greenhouse, and then the house, which has is always at 68 degrees. And then there's the delta T between the greenhouse and the barrel going through the polycarb, uh, which the R value is. I think it's like one or something, maybe one. I, I think I might've even saw, saw two. It's got a high, it's high density uh, polycarbonate, um, I believe. So um, anyway, so this is exciting. So I've been measuring the temperatures. I, but the whole purpose of this is to see if these barrels can collect enough heat to, to bring that temperature swing down, to moderate the temperature in here and the solstice is going to be the, the lowest amount of sunlight of the year and that's in two days so you can see it's already hanging it's just hanging low hanging low in the sky so i have to clear these off right now we don't have gutters yet on the roof so it just pours down as ice so we have this line of ice where it comes off the roof anyway here's the thing it's negative two degrees right now it's as cold it's not as cold as it's been yet it's not even winter yet two more days for winter our chickens are in trouble. So as is really the purpose of this video, I have this warm water ready for them. Chickens, we have to get the chickens. The girls, we have 11 girls left. We had one die. She just was sick over a week and I tried to take care of her. I separated her. I put her mouth in water, tried to do everything I could. I think I kept her alive an extra day, but then it was that long, lonely walk up into the woods with her. So this is a thermoseal, this uh, door here, thermoseal. I call it thermoseal. What it is is I basically made a rubber gasket that goes around and helps seal it. Oh, I forgot the top. Eh. We'll get back to that anyway. Air tightness is the secret to a good thermal envelope, uh, even more than insulation. You could have a fully insulated room that's airtight and it'll do something. And you could have a fully insulated room with uh, just not much air leakage and you're done. Your R value is just whoosh, tighten it up first and then you put in your insulation. Okay, just like your jacket, like you could have a big puffy great jacket on, brand new from China, looking good. Bam, your zipper's open. <laughs> You're just gonna be cold. Zip it up, puff it up. It is cold out here. It's very cold. Out here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Yes. So it's like 22 in there, the water's frozen. And uh, let's see the girls. Hello, ladies. I got some water for you. Hey, good morning, Mary. How you doing, Mary? Hi, Lucky. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Larry. What's wrong, Lucky? Huh? You got
I'm sorry, Genevieve. Genevieve and Jenny. Okay, so they just want seats. So what I've done is I've kind of uh, made a little bit of a uh, like a, a training session for them, like a dinner bell. So I have this pot. They're all uh, trained. They know what it means. Look out, ladies. Look out, ladies. I'm going to put it up high. They're trained. So that way at night when they're outside and I need to bring them in because we need to do something, they're trained. They'll come inside and they'll eat and then we're out of here off into town or whatever we have to do. Oh, an egg. Thanks, Michelle, if that was you. And another egg. 23 degrees in here, so that's not good. That means this water is likely frozen, which is the whole mission here. They can't go out today. Uh, we have a 20 degree rule. Don't know if that's an official rule, it's just our rule. It has to do with the water in here and the thermal capabilities of this chicken coop. So I'm gonna get them some seeds. Scoop of seeds. All right, you ready girls? By the way, they love these black seeds. They're uh, black pine tar seeds. Um, I'll show you. But uh, man, that, that made all the difference. And suddenly we were getting eggs all of a sudden. So if you want eggs with your chickens, seeds equals one of these. Watch this, I'm gonna hit Michelle's butt. Thank <laughs> you. 